Good afternoon, ladies. Here I am at 1.15 in the afternoon, Pennsylvania time. And I gotta say, it's hot out here today. Uh, I decided today I'm gonna predominantly walk my five miles. I'm doing some running, but not heavy running because uh, I don't wanna push myself. I don't wanna have a heat stroke out here today. It is actually pretty thick, the air. So I uh, highly recommend if you're out walking or running, know your body, know the temperatures, know your environment, and uh, you know, adjust accordingly. So I decided to take this time because I am at the two and a half mile mark to uh, bring something to your attention that was brought to my attention because that's what I like to do is uh, keep you guys updated on, keep you girls updated on what's going on and conversations that I'm having with the other women in the, in the group page, messages that I receive. I, you know, when people write me messages, I listen to them and I respond, you know, accordingly. And I, I just wanted to bring it to your attention, girls, that I've been getting numerous messages from women that have, uh, have actually removed themselves from our group page. And uh, I'm going to explain to you why, what I'm hearing, and why I think that's happening, and how I think we can, uh, you know, we can correct that or, or talk about it a little bit. So one of the main reasons that I'm hearing is Fight Club for Women is an empowerment group. And this is true. I realized that when we started Fight Club for Women, we were going to open up Pandora's box for a lot of women. And I, and I knew that going in. Uh, I want you ladies to share, and I want you ladies to vent, and I want you to talk about, you know, share your stories and things that have happened to you in your life. But more importantly, what I want from you ladies is not to be stuck where you're at. The whole point of an empowerment group is to take you from wherever it is you are in your point of life right now and get you moving forward not to be stuck in the past. You know, I know a lot of horrible things. I've heard more stories than you can even imagine, things that haven't even been posted on that page of things that have happened to women in this group. And it's horrible. But the point being is, what we wanna do here in, in, in uh, Fight Club, and again, we're not counselors and we're not therapists. So, you know, when I see the page turning into a constant, uh, you know, venting, 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 and that's fine, like I said. But what I want to see, and I'll use Brandy as an example, because she's a perfect example of somebody. Uh, Brandy has had horrible things happen to her, and we all know that from what she showed us, and uh, from what I know personally. But what's nice, what's beautiful about Brandy is, she is the face of Fight Club, as far as I'm concerned. She's a woman who's had horrible things happen to her, and she's shared that with us, but she's not stuck there. She's showing us, hands on, what she's doing to correct the problem, you know? And that's what I wanna see for a lot of you ladies. Like I said, I've had private conversations with quite a few of you, and my first words I say to you is, you know, I understand, I validate what happened to you, but it's gone, it's done, it's the past. You can't go back and, un and unring a bell, but you can move forward in your life and come up with a game plan on, all right, here I am, what do I gotta do? What do I wanna do forward? So what I want to see from you ladies is what I'm seeing from Brandy. She's a perfect example. Like I said, she had a shit ton of things happen to her, but yet she's openly on the page showing us how she's moved her life, moved her children. I, I just literally got a message from her, text message, that um, you know the best gift we can give each other in Fight Club is to show you girls how to help yourself, how to empower yourself, because that's what the word empowerment really means. It's about empowering yourself. Uh, we could all give money and give money and give money to everybody, but that's defeating the purpose. That's not what I want to do here. I want to show you girls how to, you know, if it's health and fitness, hey, you see, <laughs> I'm out here right now and, and 100 degrees, it feels like walking my ass off. If it's in business, I'll give you business tips. If it's in self-development, we got that for you too. But what is it that you're doing to move forward? So I want to start seeing this page move forward. Brandy just sent me a message, and I'm super excited to say, I want to brand Brandy. We want to brand Brandy, just like we want to brand any one of you that have an amazing art or talent or something. Show you how to get yourself, showcase your stuff out there. Uh, Brandy is sending me boxes of her art, and I'm, I'm excited to see this because I feel like it's going to be Christmas in July when I see what's in Brandy's box. And... Uh, I'm going to help her get, her get the word out for her about what kind of artist she is. Because that's where she needs help right now. She doesn't need help with us sending her money. She doesn't need help, you know, 
with things like that. What we can do, the best way we can help Brandy is help her with help showcasing her talent and what she's got and, and selling her art. So over the next couple weeks, I'm probably gonna be putting together a, uh, us Fight Club women are gonna be putting together a, a an exhibit for Brandy. And we're gonna help Brandy. And just like I said, help any of you girls out there who have talents or uh, something you, you know, you're passionate about that you want us to help you with, uh, get the word out. So just want to touch base with you real quick and, and, and go over that. But again, the word of the day is empowerment, ladies. Let's, uh, let's move forward. Like I said, I don't have a problem with everybody vetting and sharing their stories because that's what we're about. But I want to see a game plan. I want to see an action plan on you not being stuck and beating a dead horse about what happened in your life. Again, we all had sucky things happen to us in our life. But the difference between me and maybe some other women is what I chose to do with that. You can either let it tear you down or you can make it yourself stronger. So, choice is yours, ladies. Let's get this page moving forward. Let's uh, help each other go ahead with our lives and not be stuck in the past, all right? Peace out, ladies. I'm actually gonna run now because uh, coming up to some shade, so I'm gonna take this opportunity. So, peace out and I will talk to you later. Bye.